Spring bulk day 10. Boys, it's shoulder day today. The goal is to get absolutely gigantic. Galactus, voluminous, gelatinous, well not gelatinous, but huge shoulders, okay? I think we're also going to get some triceps in too. But boys, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm looking like a freaking, you know, little Arnold clone. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean, hold on, hold on. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. We will look like that soon. But in, or in order to get huge, we need to do heavy Smith Machine overhead press like the Golden Era dudes. Or not the Golden Era, freaking, what did I say Golden Era? 90s era, you see Ronnie, you see Lavroni. They were repping out Smith Machine overhead press sometimes behind the neck. Sometimes in front of them. Doesn't matter. You're getting shoulders anyway. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go for like two plates today. I just downed about 20 grams of carbohydrates with some electrolytes. Now I have collagen and a little bit of creatine. We're going to stir it up, chug it, and then we're also going to get in some extra carbohydrates in a sauce manner. Code Maxwell15 for 15% off PR Lifestyle order. So just get the, you know, get the shirt or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, three, two, one. Hmm. Boys, I feel the glycogen just invading my muscles right now. I feel my freaking, hold on, I'm not even doing biceps today, but I'm just getting a bicep pump, freaking thinking about what I did. I'm going to cut to me being in the gym, rambunctiously repping some overhead press, and I will see you there. All right, boys. So... I should probably not have this bench, but I have brought it up a couple times before, and they seem to be cool with it. So as long as I bring it back downstairs, I'll be good. But this is the shoulder press I'm talking about, so I'm going to load it up. This is more of a heavy-duty workout, so plus I'm getting a little bit of uh, inflammation here in the bicep on both arms. Cause I was doing stupid heavy wrist curls. I gotta quit doing those. But uh, we're gonna get a nice tight wrap here. I'm thinking uh, pump cover's coming off fairly early. <laughs> but easy. You wanna go over the middle of your elbow first, kind of getting your forearm and you know your humerus involved, I guess. If you're looking superficially, like your tricep and then also like your forearm muscles. And then you want to go one wrap low. So one wrap more on your forearm. Hold on, I gotta get tighter. Especially if you're gonna yourself, you're gonna like pin your arm against yourself. Keep your arm straight and one on your forearm, tight, and then another over here, over your upper arm. So one middle, one forearm, and then one upper arm. I'm, ha I'm having a hard time doing this because you're not going to put these on yourself. Well, ideally, you're not going to put these on yourself. You can't. There's no rule that says you can't. And, you know, just a little side note, it gives you like a crazy looking, like, forearm. So, that's another good aspect, I guess. It's nice and tight. It's a little springy. Feels like my arm wants to unbend, which is pretty nice. Feeling all vascular. Inflammation is pretty much gone in that right arm. And that's the thing, guys. I don't even, like, I know this is considered equipped lifting, but obviously it still serves a purpose. You're still targeting muscle. Uh, I just have wraps mainly because of, I got them before when I was doing arm wrestling and bodybuilding because you get all kinds of, you know, wrist and elbow inflammation. And, these wraps, like you know, the elbow and the wrist wraps are super helpful for that.
All right, I'm gonna be smart and stop there. Do a burnout set, no wraps. We're just gonna have a plate on. Just get a ton of wraps, get a crazy pump. Freaking side raises. All right. felt nice where I kind of lean back into the seat more and go out here but it also is a little more aggravating on my shoulder and I think long term what's probably gonna allow me to push myself harder and get better results is kind of lean forward here and just go Ow. 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 Ow.
All right, boys. That was a solid posing session. That was super quiet, I just realized. But anyway, we're gonna fight off this random crap inflammation in my arm. By the way, I'm looking super vascular, holy crap. We're gonna fight off that inflammation. After the weekend, I should be recovered enough to have a solid, solid chest day. We got Friday night's sleep, Saturday night's sleep, Sunday night's sleep. And that should be more than enough to recover. I will take note of the fact that Heavy, heavy, heavy wrist curls hurt very badly. So future Max, please note that unless you are a fully committed arm wrestler, there's no need to do super heavy wrist curls and you could still progressively overload at lighter weights. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys at home for whatever I eat. What's up boys? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am home from the gym now. It was an incredible workout. I got a ridiculous pump and uh, yeah. I ate a ton of food, Italian, ice cream, you know, chicken parm, chicken calzone, blah, blah, blah. You guys get it. I ate everything. We're on a bulk, boys. So, I hope you guys have a good one. I will see you tomorrow for abs at home. Take care.